it's so early. It's so early. My eye. I did use that plexiderm stuff again today. And it just looks weird, though. Good morning, or whatever time it is. Hello, my name is Kat. Welcome to my channel. And today, it is early as hell. It is 5.30 in the morning, and your poor girl over here has already had incidents happen. I have two dogs. You've met Dozer. Tank is actually quite bigger than Dozer. He is a pit bull bull mastiff, and he is a sweetheart. Yesterday at lunchtime, I came home really quick, and Tank doesn't ever do anything wrong. He's such a good boy, and when he's sick, he gets sick in the hallway in between my kitchen and my bathroom. So thank you, Tank, for not doing things on the carpet. But anyways, I came home for lunch yesterday. He was very sick, so I spent my lunch hour doing that. Then I woke up this morning all ready for the day, ready to film with you, and there was quite a mess. There was quite a mess. It's fine. It's clean now, but I've had a morning so far. Today, we are going to be trying the new NYX Born to Glow Foundation. Da, 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 da. This little bugger was so hard for me to find. I did see somebody else use it on YouTube a few weeks ago, and then I went to London Drugs here in Lethbridge where they have two full aisles of NYX products, and it was not there. So I was like, okay. I tried Chopper's Drug Mart. Nope. No, 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 no. So I was like, okay, I'll just buy it online. No, you will not, cat, because it was not available anywhere. I couldn't find it, and on the website. So I was frustrated, because my favorite foundation is by NYX. It's a stay matte, not flat. And I was really excited to try this Born to Glow. Long story even longer. I was in Calgary last week, and there was a NYX store there, and I found it. I picked up the shade Medium Olive. I hope that I got the right shade because I was in a huge rush. My boyfriend and I were going to the zoo for his birthday, and I had already spent more than enough time in Sephora, and then I saw the NYX store, and I was like, oh, wait. And they had a billion shades in this, and... I couldn't remember what shade that I was in my Stay Matte Not Flat. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not sure if I even picked up the right color. Let's read about this. Why we love it. We can't even. The brand new Born to Glow Natural Radiant Foundation is so glorious, but glow, glory, glorious, G-L-O-W, glow, glorious. Available in an inclusive range of 45 truly flattering shades, our comfortable formula that delivers buildable, medium coverage, and a natural radiant finish well, that lasts. Oh. This liquid foundation blends like a dream and even works with your skin to help create a smooth, even-toned look. Turn up the luminosity with our other Born to Glow products. Must-haves. I'm not using any primer today. I have the Plexiderm on my face. It feels rough as hell and it looks a bit weird. So I guess we're just gonna have to see. Let's start the mood right. Are we listening to like a mix? I don't know. I don't have a variety of no copyright music. Why am I wearing earrings right now even? I was trying to impress you earlier. What the hell are we listening to? I'm just gonna leave it. Mmm. <laughs> Purdy. Way too light. Why does it look like I'm so white on camera but in the mirror? It might be the lights. So there is a little bit of texture right in here where I put the plexiderm. So far, it looks absolutely stunning. In the monitor, it looks like 
I'm quite white, but I'm not. It's getting really hot in here. Oh. I am going to go put on the rest of my face and then come back and have a chat with you. Oh, I just can't have a normal day, can I? Nope. So the foundation, I think, looks amazing. But I'm having some issues, personal issues. So I'll come closer. I Hopefully you can see it. So the plexiderm that I used, I had to, like, it caked up all around here and here. That's not the foundation's fault. It is Plexiderm's fault. So fuck you. Just kidding. But really. And my allergies are starting to act up even though I've taken my maximum dose that I can take of allergy pills. But besides that, I mean, because my eyes are watering, so it's, it's an issue. What's happening? But I think that this foundation laid down absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. I fucking love it so far. Hello. So it is um, 7 o'clock in the morning right now, and I am going to check in with you probably around 2 o'clock because that's when I will get a break from work. Yeah, what do you guys think so far? I think it's, it actually matches me perfectly. I'm really happy with it. So I'm going to go sweat like a mother at work. I don't want to. All right, guys, I'll check in with you in a while. Bye. Please have a good day. Please have a good day. Please have a good day. Hello, my little kittens. It has been seven hours since I put on the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. Uh, shit. It's so hard to say because of the weather and how hot it is where I work, but it is a little bit cakey. Um, again, I wear glasses when I work, so that's been fucked with. Good terminology, you're a really good makeup artist. It's worn off in the corners of my eyes, which is fine. I expect that from any kind of foundation, because my glasses are on, off, on, off, on, off. I touch my face a lot. I don't mean to. It's just what happens. I... It's just okay for me, so far. It's sometimes hard to judge a product when you only used it once. Sometimes you absolutely love something and then the next time you use it, you hate it. Or sometimes you hate it and then the next time you love it. It's hard to say. Right now, it is certainly not in my top five. It's okay, it's a great color match for me, but my pores are just so visible in it. Eee. Yeah. I mean, it is really pretty, though. Maybe I just put a little bit too much on. If I recall this morning, I think that that's what happened. Whoopsies. Um, I do recommend this foundation. I think it cost me $14. And... I think that's a wee bit expensive for NYX, but they are starting to... I'm, like, trying to look to tell you as well. They're starting to be a little bit more expensive because they are a high... A high demand drugstore product? That makes no sense. I can't tell you if I recommend it or not. Um... I'm sweating like a mother right now. It's so hot out. But... I just want to wash my face right now. That's not from the foundation. That's not its fault. I'm sorry that I can't give you a 100% yes or no on this. It's worth it's worth a go. Really indecisive right now. It definitely doesn't beat my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation, but it is it is a nice foundation. Please let me know in the comments what you think, and if you've tried this before, I'd love to know. Please speak to me, because I'm lonely. If you like this video, please remember to thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel, because that would be a friggin' nice thing for you to do today. Huh? You feel like doing something nice? You know, just subscribe. I'd love it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye! Brrr.